happiness. This thing that brings a smile to your face and makes the world worth living. A little bit of joy, a little bit of happiness, a little bit of uh, enjoyment, we would say to you. So that is what we wish to present to you today, this idea of happiness. What is happiness? Is it something that you get when you get a new toy, a new relationship, a new experience? All of a sudden you have this bit of a high that's called happiness. Is that what happiness is? Is it something that happens to you? Or is happiness something a little different? Perhaps it is a state of mind, a bit of consciousness that you simply have decided to experience. In other words, can you establish happiness as a way of being without having to have new toys, have new experiences, have new relationships? That is a question. And if happiness is simply something that you can purchase or something that you get outside of yourself, why doesn't it last? Why does it always seem to dull over a period of time or period of use or being with? We present to you that perhaps happiness is a little more than just an outside experience. Perhaps it is something that you set up or that you bring with yourself. What if happiness was really something that you did for yourself, like a zone? See, if you can get in this happiness zone, is that happiness? Will it endure? Or is happiness some fleeting experience that allows you to go through life and occasionally it happens for you or happens to you? Now, if true happiness is something that's internal, then you should be able to choose that. Choose whatever is happening around you as, as a pleasurable experience. After all, if you're here to have this experience, the things that are happening are happening for you, so why not enjoy them? Why not be happy with them? You do not necessarily have to control or to dictate the things that make you happy. Happiness is truly a state of mind. Now, we're saying to you that happiness is a state of mind. You simply choose to be this. What of all the things that happen that give you these little experiences that make you sad or make you sorry, make you revengeful, make you mad? We propose to you that those are momentary things. They don't necessarily make you unhappy. Those are experiences of life, things that you get to grow and learn from. And when you really know that you have this zone of happiness that you're in, then it is something that is enduring, that keeps manifesting itself, regardless of all the little uh, bits of, we would say, disturbance in the meantime. So you are here as human beings, and human beings are supposed to have certain experiences. You will experience birth, Deaths, marriages, divorces, all of that type of thing. Jobs, lack of jobs, on and on and on. All the little things that can make you have an unhappy experience in reality are things on the outside of you. If you buy a new house, does it make you happy? If you buy a new automobile, does it make you happy? If you find a new relationship, two relationships, does that make you happy? Perhaps for a while, but in relationships, Usually the second or third relationship that is happening at the same time creates a bit of internal frustration, we'd say to you. So the happiness is rather fleeting, would you not say, that you can be happy maybe five minutes when you're with this one and five with this one, and when you're not there, then there's all sorts of frustration because you're afraid someone's going to find you out or this happiness is going to disappear. You may walk into one relationship and find that this one has discovered that you're not being quite honest with them. And then the happiness that you perceive to be there causes all sorts of frustration. But that is beside the point. What we're talking about is your ability to choose to be happy, to set yourself in this state of mind or in this zone to where happiness is what you manifest. It is rather like a spiritual thing, we would say to you. You simply choose to be happy. Or you choose to be unhappy, or you choose to be however you wish to be. It is part of your personality that you put together, but it is rather a basic thing that you choose to do. Happiness is not a guarantee. Happiness is something that you create inside yourself. You simply decide, if I'm here, why not be happy? Why not create the things that I wish to experience? Happiness, joy, delight in living. 
You are here in one of these physical bodies having this human experience. You can choose to see it as something that is delightful, something that brings you joy, or you can see it as a challenge, something that is always creating problems for you, something that is, we would say, health-wise challenging, something that is challenging to you as a whole, as being issues. And if you decide to be a victim, then happiness is perhaps a little difficult to come by. But what if? Magic words, what if? What if is a creative energy? What if you say, I choose to be happy? What if I say to you, why not desire to be happy? Why not have this inner peace, this inner calmness? Why not love your experiences? Why not love yourself? Why not love everything that's going on? That gives you happiness. That gives you exactly what you're looking for. And it is not something that you buy. It is not something that somebody gives you. You give it to yourself. You simply choose happiness over everything else. It does not mean that you have to jump up and down with joy and shout and sing and dance in the streets. It simply means that you decide that life is worthwhile. It is worthy. So you have come into this plane and you choose how you're going to be, each of you. Maybe you're just a little bit happy occasionally. Maybe you're a little bit sad because something has happened that you think has ruined your life. Perhaps your parents are responsible for all the crap <laughs> that happens in your life. But the reality is, you're the one that chooses. Things happen. You choose how you feel about them. Experiences happen for you. You choose what it means to you. The reality is experiences give you lessons, give you ability to choose. And you have been choosing ever since you got here. From this small child, you choose to holler and cry and disturb your parents to get your way, did you not? Now here you are in this, at least most of you, fully developed body. <laughs> you call it being mature human beings. And you're looking for some, something that makes life worthwhile. And if you look for it outside yourself, you're going to be disappointed. It does not mean you cannot have occasional happiness. But if you choose as an internal experience, then you have accomplished something. And when you have one of these external experiences that gives you a little more happiness, it is a higher high than you ever would experience before. But it is still something that you relate to this choosing, choosing to be happy. That is what we wish to present to you this day and say, how do you choose to be? What if true happiness was nothing more than a choice? No more difficult than choosing your personality or your truths or your faith or your way of being. No more difficult than choosing what you will eat for your breakfast or for your meals. No more difficult than choosing who you will have for friends or relationships. Happiness starts with inside yourself. You have to love this being that you are. And once you have accomplished that, love is the key to happiness. Love yourself. Once you can do that, then you can love everyone and everything around you. Trust the universe that you have made and you have decided this is what happiness is all about. So this is what we present to you. What if, what if happiness was a choice? And what we're saying to you is happiness is a choice. You get to make and you make it moment to moment every day of your life. Look back on what you have experienced and ask yourself, could I have been happier with that experience? A nice thing about past experiences are that you get to look at them with a little bit more perspective. You get to decide if you could have felt better about that. So look at your past, look at your parental child relationships. Did those work for you? They did. But you get to choose whether or not it was a happy experience or something less than that. So, what is happiness? We are Alexander. <laughs>